Cool. There we go. All right. Everybody's on. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good. We're looking over here because we're looking at the other monitor. All right. To see that we're live. We're live? Good. We are all family. Fantastic. Absolutely, uh, Trella. All Absolutely. Right. So. Welcome to. Woo, welcome back from an amazing event, guys. Heck yeah. It wasn't that amazing, but before we get started, we always like to introduce ourselves. Okay. So how you doing, guys? My name is Rich Guzman. Hi, guys. I'm Anastasia Haldridge, better known as Coach Ace. And welcome to the Super Affiliate Network Inner Circle Coaching Call. That's right. Live mm. in the flesh. That's right. <laughs> so if you guys are here for the first time, give us a quick shout out. Let us know where you're actually watching us from. And uh, we'll give you a quick shout out of your name. Also, be sure to like and follow the Super Affiliate Network official fan page to make sure that you do not miss any notifications for when we are going live, as well as our other company-sponsored uh, Facebook Lives that are going on daily. Absolutely. Okay, so let me just get this And don't forget here. to share. We want some comments, likes, and shares. So don't forget to share this because tonight we have a special treat for you. We have a special guest speaker that is here waiting, uh, actually waiting for us. And uh, it is a he. We will be bringing him out. And guys, you won't even know who this is, but we are excited to have him here and also um, share his success secrets with you guys. So definitely share the heck out of this inner circle. And then in the second half, we're going to go ahead and um, share with you how you could be a part of this awesome company. <laughs> so okay. cool. So guys, I mean, was that an amazing event or what? It was fantastic. That was awesome. Had a Every blast. single one of you guys that were Had there. Had a blast. Yeah, we're there. We're there. Yeah. We're there. We're there. We're there. Yes. Yes. That was okay. really cool. Just to be with you guys, hang out with you guys, <laughs> see who you are in the flesh. Yeah. You know I mean, some having lunch with us, dinner, you know, having a beer. That was incredible. Cocktails. Cocktails. I had a rum yes. and coke. And not only that, but honestly, guys, the event was just amazing. For all the speakers who came out and mm -hmm. share their knowledge. Yes. Uh, you know, share some wonderful things. I mean, it was just amazing. We got so much value just being there. And I just oh, yeah. can't believe, like, all something was being shared. All those golden nuggets. I can't nuggets. believe it's over. Yeah. I miss everybody. I know. It's over I miss so, everybody. It's, like, over so quick. But yeah. don't worry about it, because guess what's next? Vegas! That's Vegas, right. guys. So Vegas. Super Network is going to be in Vegas in the next six months. So you guys better plan out your calendars, block out your dates. It's going to be in October. Call in sick if you have to, but you're not missing this one. Nope. <laughs> nope. You're not missing this you're one. You're not missing Las Vegas where we will be down there doing the same thing. So make sure that you do not miss that event. Oh, yeah, guys. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> so let's get rocking, guys. So anyways, um, we have a very special guest this evening, Okay. And uh, this gentleman has been online for quite some time, and he has been um, really just kicking some serious butt, you know, rising up the ranks with the Super Affiliate Network. And he's also um, has really gotten a lot of accomplishments um, in different affiliates that he's done in the past, okay? And he's been recognized as one of the top affiliates as well. Right. Yeah. But before we bring him out, we need to make the announcement of the pros. We have pros and we have now all ends. We need to make announcements. Okay. Well, hold that thought, guys, because uh, you guys uh, bite your nails now. Like, who is this person? <laughs> We're just going to keep the anticipation. Uh, just I'm just going to fix this camera. So, Rich, pull up uh, Dan Muskett's uh, list here. You he didn't says tell me this. that. You would have told me that. Uh, this yeah. happens all the time, honey. Okay, all the time. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where is it? Uh, you're gonna have to go to Dan's message. That's what he just okay, said. Okay, all right. You pull it up right there. All right. Right here. Come on, come on, come on. I'll help. All right, we got that. I'm side. faster. Okay, there it is, right there. Okay. Look up. There they are. Scroll up. There they are, right there. Okay. Let's get cool. that list. All right, let's get that list. Okay. Cool. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make um, an announcement by recognizing these individuals who invest into their intellectual capital and decided to position themselves to receive the highest commission, which is known as Super Affiliate Network Pro. So we're going to congratulate you guys. And if you guys don't know what is pro or how you can be become a pro, make sure that you make an appointment with your SANS success coach and you talk to them and get your questions addressed there so that they can help you make the best decision that you're going to make anyway to go pro. Matter of fact, we went pro first week. 
like first week, baby. first week, Boom. Um, our special guest, he went pro without any hes- hesitation, like literally without any hesitation, he went pro. So well, he, didn't um, waste no time he didn't waste no time Mm-mm. and uh, he went all in too. So he also didn't waste any time on that one, did he? Well, now you know he's a he. It is a he. I did say that was he, but yeah. I didn't say the name. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So the following individuals actually invested into their intellectual capital and they actually became hey, pro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> For those who invested in their intellectual capital yes. in the Super Affiliate Network, these are the nominees. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So we have, um, let's see, Gregorina L. Sung, okay, Stanley N. Mender, Raven S. Jones, John Warsham, Yvonne Clifton, Robert Johnson, Aaron Falcioni, Osman Goni, Jacqueline Lingman, or Lyman, Brenda Collins, Amy Fer- Ferrenti, yes, Ferrenti, Roy Barnes, if I butcher your name, I'm sorry, Christine Williams. Congratulations to all of you who went pro. Now. Yes. Drum roll. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, now we got these couple of uh, people that just actually went all in with their business. We're talking all in, We're not in, talking baby. about Maui. We're saying all, all in. in. That's what Woo. we do, all in. Okay, so this is Bob Madison, Madsen. All right. Lynette and Mark yeah. Roush. Is that a couple? Uh, Lynn and Mark Roush. Yes, they are a couple. Woo, another couple. I love What's couples. Up? Yes. So, guys, congratulations on investing in, 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 uh, 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 into your intellectual <laughs> capital. We're still and, and the fact that you're all in, you're going to be so hooked up. That's right. So hooked up up it's not even funny and if you're curious about all in make sure you talk to your coach <laughs> exactly that's right right after the call now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring out the special guest speaker um he has done phenomenal he received a surprisingly uh big giant novelty check on stage with us we got to hang out over the weekend got to know each other he's he's definitely a part of the family and we're so excited to have him here we have none other than Sean Superdoer Johnson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me bring <laughs> That's him out. right. Let's bring out Sean Johnson. Come on. Come on out. Let's get him. <laughs> Rich, come on. Wait, hey, I have a long list here, man. I know. There's a, a, a lot of people, lot here. Of a lot people, of people here. here. We did say share, so, you know. Yeah. But let's bring out Superdoer. There's a man right there. All right. <laughs> let's see. Let me just unmute him. There he is. There is. So he knows Zoom. He knows Zoom. We ain't got to give him instructions. He knows how to use it. He's yeah. How you doing, man? I'm good. Can y'all hear me good? Oh, 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 wait, turn up. Turn can't. Up. Oh, turn up. Turn up. No, I'm up. You're up? Okay, I'm up. I hear you, Sean. You can't hear me? Hold on. Take your mic. I am nope. up. Can't hear. Ooh. Hold on. Wait a minute. Maybe it's me. Let me check. Hold, Hold on. on. Check it, Rich. Check try, it. try now. Talk again. No, we got the speaker up. Hang yeah. on, guys. We have a little technical issue, but we can you hear me? Oh yeah, there, there we go. go. <laughs> I knew he was gonna take care of it, man. You know, you know, the, you know, this technology stuff sometimes has a mind of its own. So it sure does. It sure does. So how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm excited. Look, I'm not asleep this time. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I remember the last time we asked him to come, and then we were like looking for Sean. Where was he? And he was sleeping. Look, I, was, I was like this. <laughs> He was tired. Yeah, I woke up and I was like, oh, snap. I missed it. Yeah. yeah you're, well, a bu- you're a busy dad, brother. So Welcome yeah. to the Inner Circle, Sean. We're so excited to have you here. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to be here. I'm definitely excited. Awesome. Awesome. So can you share with everybody um, who's watching on the Inner Circle what your background is before you actually join the Super Affiliate Network? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, like, before um, before the Super Affiliate Network, you know, I was pretty much, I consider myself pretty much, um, an affiliate marketer, you know, been around the block of time between and did a few things. Uh, so I was just in the space marketing, you know, different products really was in the transition before um, I came to uh, super affiliate network really was looking for something, but really didn't know what I want at the time. And, you know, usually that's when somebody that you trust always come around, they got something right. So that's, you know, me and Keisha started talking and then um, she shared with me. And when I got back home from a, an event where we was at, I just started taking a look at it. And I was like, hey, this look good, right? You know, and I like the information. I like what I saw. And um, I just, just dived head first. I didn't hesitate because, you know, I know in business, you know, we, we are presented with a lot of different things. But it's different when it comes from a person that you trust, 
who you basically kind of grew up with in the space. So I already knew it was legit. I just needed like a little bit more information, see if it's something I actually wanted to do. And once I did, I was like, once I did get that information and I saw exactly what was going on, I was like, it was a no brainer to me. A dollar? Huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. Yeah, nice. that's only a dollar. That was it, and we we skipped it and did the thirty seven dollars a month. Remember? Yeah, I, I was like, hey, I spent more than that a month. I might as well just like save ten bucks a month. But even yeah. at that, you don't really need to overthink it, right? Right, right, <laughs> right. You need a crowbar, uh, you know, it's like pulling <laughs> <people> a dollar. <laughs> so before you got online, um, what is it that you did before you got online? Like, well, yeah, I, so so really before I even got online, you know, I was a police officer. I was a police officer for the federal government and um wow. before I really money wasn't really a big issue because I was making decent money but I won't never at home right mm-hmm. so I'm working 12 hour shifts every time we have a cookout you know I'm going in from five in the evening to five in the morning so every time we have a cookout time to cook out get good I gotta go to work I'm like I can't oh, do anything. I know so, what that's oh, like oh. So, get, the man so, get them chicken Please, you know, maybe put it in the doggy bag so I can go to work with it. I don't know. But I want to be here for the experience. I get you. <laughs> exactly. So, so I was, you know, I was making plates. I was constantly making plates. I never was able to enjoy my food with my family and friends. So, oh, you know, it just got to the point where even with holidays, you know, being a police officer, so the old time is always all ranked me. So I'm working on Christmas. I'm working on Thanksgiving. So I was like missing a lot of different key moments in my life with my family that I couldn't really enjoy outside of, you know, the regular things we was doing through through in the week. So it got to a point where my realtor husband, he had got involved in a business and I heard about different businesses and online and internet marketing and network marketing. And I kind of shied away from it because a high school friend brother, he constantly was saying, Hey, I'm going to be a millionaire. And it was like 10 years later, I'm still waiting on this dude to be a millionaire. Right. <laughs> he invited me to numerous and numerous of meetings. And at that time, my mind wasn't wrapped around, working for you know doing the business from i was too busy playing playstation video games eating out and going to the movies just pretty much having fun because i didn't have a kid at that time um so got involved in that business because i said okay here's the time for me to try to win my freedom back maybe i can make a little bit more money in this business and maybe i can find a different job where i can start working 12 hour shifts so got involved in that particular company it was like a 500 dollars price point joined immediately my wife looked at me side eye because she really didn't believe in it but she yeah. one thing about it from the beginning she said i got your back she said i might don't believe in it but i got your back so um got involved in that i think i got my first sale within 30 days and, it, and my commission was like six bucks but i was happy yeah. i'm like okay this works yeah. uh and then you fast forward three years later i think my total earnings for that particular company was like 2900 bucks so i'm like I can't, you know, I can't win no freedom off of 2900 bucks, and it's taking me three years to do it because I was going to hotel meetings. I was doing the Tuesday meeting, the Wednesday meeting, the Thursday meeting, the Super Saturday. I was going to the company event. I was driving one hour to talk to one person who didn't join. Then I had to drive an- another hour back. And even if they did join, at that point in my life in that business, I only was going to make a $50 commission. Ooh. So I was like, dude, this sucks. So I end up coming online. I saw a guy online um, that you guys made. I don't know if you know Cedric Harris. You may know Cedric Harris. I saw him online. Saw he was talking about, you know, marketing. And so I just started following him and got involved in something that he was doing. And then that gave me a um, a bigger window of what was possible in business. But I still was brand new. I still didn't, I still wasn't um, able to connect the dots at that time. And then just, you know, I just, the one thing about it though, I never quit, right? So, during that time from like 2006 to about 2011, you know, I was under this mentor, that mentor, and this mastermind, that mastermind, doing this, doing that. And I was making a little progress, but I still was spending more than I was making. And I just was like, man, I know it's a, I see people making $10,000 a month. I see them making 20, 30. I like, they doing something I ain't doing. It's something I'm doing wrong. I got to figure this thing out. So um, ran into another mentor who I followed really start grasping the concept of really creating big commissions right so that really was attractive to me like making instead of making a fifty dollar sale i was looking at thousand dollar sales three thousand dollar sales i was like hey i can condense the time because if you know think about if you're making a thousand dollar sale you can condense the time where it's take you when you're doing a fifty dollar sale 
So I was really attracted to high ticket stuff, really saw that. But outside of making the money, the education and the different products and services that I was using, that was a value of me well. I said, okay, in order for me to do this long term, I got to be knowledgeable, right? So I got to come from a point where I know what I'm talking about. And then the new person coming on online, I'm able to show them. So my, my mom passed during that time when I got involved in that particular company. That set me back for like six months, came back in the game. And then I had my first three thousand dollar day, and I like that. For, that three thousand dollar day changed my life because now I had the belief, like, hey, you know what? I deserve this. And if I and I did it without even talking to anybody on the phone, it just was how I was marketing at the time. And then I keep again, I was still freaking kind of wet behind the ears. I really didn't know. I kind of knew, but I didn't know. Um, so you know, that's kind of my background. And fast forward to now, from twenty eleven to to 2018, that's when I really started gaining speed and understanding my craft and just following people who um, had the results that I wanted. And then I, I just became a copycat. Because like I always tell my team, it's okay to copy as long as you copy the right cat, right? It's all right to be a copycat. So I just started copycatting people, but I put it in my own voice. And then Superdoor just came out of nowhere. I was at an event. Um, I was speaking. We were sharing some things about ourselves, like what, what, what we're doing or what we weren't doing that we're going to do differently to be able to build our business. And at that particular event, I was talking, I had a king hat behind my head. And when I finished my speech, I put it on my head and I said, I'm Sean Superdoor. And it stuck with me ever since. So, <laughs> wow. so I just rolled with it. I just rolled with it. Yep. That's nice. cool, man. That's your brand, man. That's your brand, you know? That's beautiful, man. And I got to take a picture with him when we had the hat yeah, on. I, on, I ran yeah. right up to him. I was like, he's got the hat on. Hold on a second. Let me go back. <laughs> take a selfie. Cool, man. Wow. Yeah. What an incredible story. Wow. And and about your mom, like, wow, you know, that must have been um, challenging for you. But you just went right through that no matter what. And you just yeah. stayed focused, you know. And, and we w both lost our dads. And, you know. Yeah, like, like less than 12 like, months apart yeah i mean literally. it's crazy and so yeah. for us we had to stay focused ourselves you know because it's hard it, it's some days it's tough man but i yeah. know you, you know, know. just gotta and, and life will, you know guys if you're watching this and you're listening to sean share his story like this is real this is not scripted there's no bullshit here you guys you're getting the real truth from sean what has happened to him before success and I want you guys to resonate with that because, you know, all of us have our own problems and all of us have our fears and all of us have challenges and your life will happen. Shit will happen yeah, no matter yeah, what, but yeah, you can't quit just like Sean didn't. Exactly. He didn't quit. We didn't quit. You don't need, you don't need to keep thinking that every time something's going bad, that you got to stop it. Mm -hmm. You can't because life will happen no matter what, with or without. Your bills are still going to keep coming whether you're dead or not. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's what I learned. You know? yeah, they come. They coming, but um, what else you want to ask him? Oh well, I mean, I know people are gonna want to know this as well. Like, uh -huh. what, like, what is your favorite marketing strategy? Like, what do you uh, focus on the most, and then you get results with? And what's your favorite? Um, what to do online? Pick your poison. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not, uh, so I know when I first really started understanding what was going on, the number one thing that I saw people getting results with was with video, and I was like, okay, so. Video is almost like me TV. It's almost like reality TV because people either they can see you or they can hear you and they resonate with you more um, quicker than you sending an email. Emails work, but they just resonate with you quicker, right? It's almost like you looking at a reality TV show, your favorite show. You almost feel like you already know the person yes. that's on the TV show, right? You probably can tell me that name, that middle name, what blood type they are, that kids, the name of the dog. You know this stuff, so. <laughs> So video really, um, you know, I saw people getting results with video. I said, well, I want to do video. But from the beginning, I suck. I like, I, I mean, I suck big time. And I kind of shied away from it a little bit because, you know, I'm looking at myself on video and I'm like, dude, it sounds like I'm reading from a book. Hey, guys, this is Sean <laughs> Johnson. You know? So like some, if I could take you like some of my first videos, you'd be like, wow, this is a big change. So really started looking at that. And one day, I mean, I just thought really what I really did, if y'all want to know my secret from the beginning, I just started doing like reviews on companies because at the time I just knew people didn't know how to market, right? I knew how to market at a certain point. I knew a little bit, but I knew more than the newest person that was joining the business. So I knew I could teach them some and yeah. I can kind of um, push them in a direction that could help them. That not only was it going to benefit them, but it was going to benefit me because I was going to sell them a product or service to help them build that business. So I just started doing like company reviews, right? 
Um, in the beginning, I didn't. It sucked. And then I ran across Kate Mache video, and I started watching her, and I was looking at how many hits she was getting on her video. I was like, wow, 200,000 hits? I said, she ain't saying nothing spectacular. I said, I can do what she's doing. So I just started <laughs> modeling her in my own words. Awesome. And then before you know I look up, I had a video with 200,000 views, 100,000 views. Then I, But the thing about the videos, right? I started getting leads. So I started going from maybe generating five leads a day to 10 to 20, sometimes 30 on a good day with no, with no without putting in out any money. So once I figured out and I saw how that worked, every, look, at that time in my business, I had my son, so I had to do stuff late at night. So I'd get up right at night and just cut it, cut one or two videos. Cut one or two videos. I was like consistent. Cut one or two videos. But let me kind of backtrack. In the beginning, I wasn't getting the leads at first. You know, it took time. It took me about 90 days before I really started seeing the 10 to 20, yeah. um, the 30 yep. day elite. Yeah. Yep. So I was like, I didn't, like I said, a lot of people start a strategy within the first week. They don't get five leads. They quit. Yes. Right. And I learned long ago, you know, you got to constantly, you got to stay true on the course. And guess what? At the least moment, about 60 to 90 days, if you're consistent, Things are going to pop. That's really with anything that you do, whether it's video, whether it's learning how to write email, whether it's doing Facebook lives, whatever you're doing. If you stay consistent, it's going to suck in the beginning. It's going to look like it's not working, but you're planting those seeds. And before you know it, you're building up traction. And now when people Google, like, here's the funny thing. Somebody told me there was, matter of fact, it was a team member in a company she was in, right? She went to her convention. They showed my YouTube video at her convention. <laughs> And said, don't do what he's doing. <laughs> so I laughed. I like, tell him thank you. Because they just gave me more views. Because people probably went up and Googled my name. And I probably signed them up in something that they saw. Hello. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's true. Yes. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. She was like, yeah. She said, you know, you was at my convention. I was like, no, I wasn't. She said, they brought up your YouTube video you did on my company. I was like, wow. And she was like, yeah, they was telling us don't do, don't be like you. But they didn't understand what I was doing. They really didn't understand the concept. Yeah. yeah. And if they understood the concept, then they probably were like, hey, y'all should do that too. That way you can bring more reps into the company. But that was like my, my strategy coming off the bat. And um, the other company I was with that really helped me start hitting the leaderboards. And, and really, the funny thing about it, I did videos so long ago, like, these videos still ranking. It still bring me in like 10 to 20 leads. Like now I'm getting a whole lot of leads. So I'm trying to fit. And I, I wasn't doing tracking. So I don't really know what video they're coming from, which sucks. <laughs> but it start coming in. I'm like, man, what's going on today? Did, a, did somebody, did a thousand people just join this company? Because <laughs> I'm getting all these leads. But um, video really um, was one of the things, uh, one of my number one marketing strategies that helped me. Now I'm kind of changing that. I'm still going to do video. But now I'm working more on just pretty much kind of list building all the way around and just really kind of connecting to my list. Because, I, you know, I learned from one mentor, even if you got 100 people on your list and they know who you are and they're tuned to you, you can make a, you can make a full time income from home with 100 people. Yes. Especially with 100 people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 So video. Um, me, I'm a systems guy. So I like things that are like systems. I can't, like, I kind of shy away from, and I'm not beating it up. I'm not really a, a multi-level marketing home. Um, like, I'm not like an Amway type guy where I can do the meetings in the home park. Because I did that, and it didn't work for me. You know, I got beat up with that stuff. You know, my wife got, I was always away from home and wasn't making any money. But now, I don't even, half of the time, I don't even got to cut on the computer, and I can generate a $1,000 sale. I can generate a $500 sale because... I figure out automation, but I also figure out how to connect with the people on the other end yes. and figure out what is their pain and then get them a, a solution to that pain or a solution to that problem. Yeah. And, I, and I don't have no problem doing this either. I do this in a heartbeat. I okay. do this in a heartbeat because I found out sometimes you can separate yourself from the next person online if you just make it a little bit more personal. And I'm going to tell y'all a secret that helped me earn $2,000 this week, right? Well, y'all want at the event, so I don't think I should tell them because they want to. If you want at the event, <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you a secret, and I'm I'm like, thank you, Ace and Rich, for, and she already know what I'm about to say. So <laughs> at the event, you know, I heard her, I heard Ace and Rich talk about it before about going the extra mile to connect with your customers, right? And that's something I really wasn't doing 
on a consistent basis, not the way they was doing it. I just did it this week and generated $2,000 because I followed what they said. And you know what helped me? The meet and greet. When you do the meet and greet, I'm like, why the freak I don't do this for everything I do? Because it, it brings that different level of communication and connection. I'm like, I should have been doing this. I'm like, because here, cause here's, what, here's what I see happening in some people's business, right? They get people in their business. The person don't know who you are. You don't reach out. They fill it in alone, and then you see a re. Then you see a refund. And the reason it's a refund because yeah. maybe they didn't get an email right from you. Maybe they did get a text. If you if you're afraid to talk to them on the phone, text that phone them. Say, hey, I'm Sean. I'm your sponsor. You just signed X Y Z. Connect with me on Facebook or let's talk on the phone. Set up a time of day, whatever, so we can get a better connection. So I can help you get to to whatever results you want to get to. And just doing that this week, right? Connecting with the people, talking to them. You know, just like we're doing right now here, we did it on Zoom. It brought a whole, and they thank me for, hey, man, thank you for, you know, reaching out. And I know you're busy, but thank you for reaching out and connecting with me. So now they feel like they're a part of something. So, yes. you know, you need to, I don't care what you promote. If you, even if you're looking at this and you're a new person, you're not even in a super filling network, I don't care what you promote. You need to do that with your customers because once a person um, know, like, and trust you and they buy from you, yeah. Guess what? They'll continue to buy from you if they see value in what you're promoting and if it can help them um, kind of um, solve a problem, whatever they have. So You know what? That, you're absolutely right about that because what we saw, and you know, like whenever there's a hole in the marketplace and you fill it, that's how you can have success, right? So we saw that hole in the marketplace. We saw everybody signing up people and people saying like, oh no, don't talk to them. Don't, you know, cause you, you gotta feel yeah. important and all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to be like that. No. I, I, I want to reach out like I'm a normal person and you know, you're a normal person. Let's meet. What's up? How you doing? I'm, I'm Ritz. This is Anastasia. Nice to meet you. Hey, how long you been doing this for? Are you brand new? You know, just asking simple questions mm -hmm. and you get to know them. And before you know it, they're like, wow, I feel like I can know you guys. As a matter of fact, I can't believe you actually reached out to me. Yeah. You know, they're so like surprised. And having the the Skype video conversation, but all, yeah, but listen, Zoom, it makes it more personable. Right, yeah. but they all. This is what they said. They, mm -hmm. This is what we get all the time. Well, the majority of the time, this is what we get. You know, I've been online for a while. Nobody has ever followed up with me the way you guys do, and that's what we hear all the we hear time. That a lot. You know. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, and video. I mean, come on, if you're on video and somebody sees you on video and becomes a lead and goes on your list, and then if they buy. And you talk to them afterwards like this, that's a solid relationship you start building right there. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. But I had a, a gentleman who joined my team last week and then he decided to make, he, well, he, he already was thinking it, but when I talked to him, um, like we were doing now, it just solidified that, Hey dude, I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to pro it up. I'm, I'm ready. You don't got to hold my hand. I already know what to do, but I guess probably without that connection, if I would have never did that connection, Maybe he would have did it. Maybe he wouldn't have did it. But I mean, yeah. it might have would have took longer because there really was no co connection between us, and he just probably really wanted to know what was going on. But he'd been following my information, getting my emails, seeing my video, and just doing that personable meeting made yeah. things that that much different to make a decision. And you know, I see that. I see that a lot. If, if you do that, and I'm thank you for the conversation we had. I told you you got to create a product and make it nine nine or seven. Okay. I'm on it. It's going to be part of the band. I'm, I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad I attended the event. And that's what events do, right? You know, it gives you uh, insight on different stuff mm -hmm. that you may see, but you don't always see. And yeah, then yeah. You, know, you talked about it before, and I'm like, okay. I never took action on it. But coming to the event, I'm like, well, they're the number one income earner, so apparently I can learn something and I can implement <laughs> something, right? So yeah, you know, right. Yeah. I, I went back home because I talked to you about it the whole week. Every time I yeah. saw you, I said nine, nine to seven. <laughs> so I had it on my mind. So when I got home, I said, okay, I I asked you because you we can look in the Facebook chat. I said, can you send me that template? Send, them the send template. me the template. I modeled. I ain't changed nothing but the pictures and the numbers. Yeah. I modeled everything y'all did. I said, I'm a copycat. That's what I do. I there copy. You go. <laughs> and, um, bam. So that's what I you know. That's what I've been doing since I got back home to really make that connection and to really kind of know the people on my team, no matter what, you know, no matter what product or service that they buy from, if I can reach out to them and connect with them and see exactly what's going on. Cause sometimes they may need coaching, personal coaching from you. They may need other stuff. And if they don't know you exist, they can't buy it from you. Right. They're going to buy it from somebody. 
So they don't know you exist. They can't buy from it. And then, you know, you just connecting with them. Like you said, a lot of people been online for years and never talked to anybody but an email or a responder, a follow up. Yeah. And they never really get to talk to people. Like you said, I'm, I'm you know, I might be a successful as a, a little bit in what I do, but I'm not too successful where I can't talk to you. You know, I mean, exactly. Not, that's not me. I mean, I don't mind picking up the phone or now yeah. you can talk. You can talk my head off now, but but I'll talk to you. I don't have no problem because you know that when I got started in the industry and I got online, I remember Cedric talking to me. You know, he talked to me, and I kind of shied away from that. I like, you know, you hear it all the time. Um, you don't got to talk on the phone. I mean, you might get to a point in your business where you don't have to talk on the phone. You got other people setting up appointments and doing things for you, right? But, I mean, at my level, I'm not there. I want to get there, right? Well, I got some assistance and people, you know, hey, Sean, you got an appointment at four. I said, oh, okay, thank you. Let me, let me, who, who I'm talking to? Oh, great. But I'm not there. So I don't have, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a problem reaching out and connecting with people. Because just like I told a, a guy I talked to the other day, I say, me doing this, right, it, it separates me from everybody else. And I wanted to show you how you just a little tweak, right? A little tweak. That little tweak I did created, you know, more income where if I just sat behind the computer and, you know, I'm going to let everything else work on automation when I'm, it's easy for me to like, hey, or get on here and do a Zoom. It's too simple. It's like when I talk to the people, it was like we brothers and sisters, like I already know them. We just yes. have a simple conversation like we doing now. It's like much hey, what's better up? conversation to have, yeah, especially absolutely. with the buyer, especially with the buyer. Much better conversation that they're looking forward to talk to you. Yeah, because they, they don't they don't know you, so they might think something of you because they don't even know who you are. But yeah. when you actually connect with them, they go, "Wow, this person's not that bad." Really you know what I mean? And, and they're like, I, "Not what I thought." You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we get we get so many things from so many different people. It, it's yeah. so funny. But I will tell you, the main reason we did that is because, you know, the phone, yeah, it's okay, but we like video is the most powerful. So why don't we use that video strategy, but use mm -hmm. it with a follow-up yeah. and just get connected that way. Mm -hmm. And we just did that, man. It just started just growing like mad. But we saw the back-end profits start to grow as well. We're yeah. like, wow, like it's, it works. More trust, more trust. Yeah. Yep. So follow up is not an option. It's a necessity. <laughs> <laughs> sure is. And look at that. It already made a change right in your life by adding an additional two thousand dollars. Yeah. Time I came back. Tweaks, man. It's just, it's just the beginning. It's That's just, just the, beginning. the beginning, man. Awesome. Yeah. So what can you share with everyone as far as advice? They're looking at you. You invited them to this actual meeting, to the inner circle. Um, or people that are watching that are on the fence about joining Super Affiliate Network and they're trying to compare it to what makes us so different than other high ticket affiliate programs? Well, you know, I, I definitely don't get into the compare game because, you know, that's a conversation you would really never win. Yeah. But I say, what, you know, just coming from the event, what I saw, you know, it's like we are, we are a big family, right? A big family, you know, we may have different goals or what we're trying to do but it's all like we all like on pretty much on like the same path and we right. uplift each other and then you got to look at the, the company owner well like he, he really pouring to us the information he's setting you up for life skills right or life skill sets that you can use even if you just even if you stay here for a year and you say hey i want to go somewhere else guess what you got those skill sets and those skill sets going to bring you some income. It's going to mm -hmm. make you that much more valuable, especially if you join another company, right? It's going to make you that much more valuable of a sponsor because now you know what to tell your people. You know how to lead your people, but you also got a skill set that you can share with your team to show them how to grow that business. Because a lot of times, you know, people want to, it's almost like this, a lot a reason a lot of people sometimes don't get results because they never educate themselves. They never pour back into themselves. So they leave, they go from company to company to company to company to company, and they're the same exact person. So while I, I don't understand why they expect to get different results when you're the same exact person, but when you invest in yourself, when you invest in a coach, when you invest in training and learning, just different mentorships, when you get around people who have more success with you, more success than you, and you become a sponge, like like what I do, I look for people who are more successful than me, and I don't have no problem figuring out what they're doing and copying. I'll stalk them for a little while. I'll be like, okay, I haven't stalked Ace and Rich yet. I'm about to stalk <laughs> y'all. I'm going to figure some stuff out. I stalk them, and I just believe in always um, – adding more value to me and then I can pour that value out to the next person 
who may want to partner with me. Because people want to join. I think somebody said this at the event. People want to join the teacher. People don't want to join the person said beside them. So in your business, you always want to work towards becoming the teacher. Work yeah. towards becoming the person that's sharing the information. And guess what? People will, even if you just got on the line today and then the other person got online maybe two weeks from now, guess what? You the teacher. Because yeah. you got two weeks in front of them that you to learn something that you can come back and share. And that makes you that much more valuable. So that's what I see in the Super Affiliate Network, you know, as far as, you know, the leaders pouring in, the information that they share at the event, the information that they share outside of the event, Facebook chat, you know, you can reach out to different people. Um, and it's just, man, I'm going to tell you, I don't know if you ever made a big commission before. I don't know if you've ever been in a system that, like, works when you work it. But I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I mean, to to be at me personally, to be able to get on the stage with other leaders and, and hold up a big check, that was always a dream. I, I asked Keisha when we, I said, they doing checks and I, you know, I ain't figure I was going to get one. I was like, they doing checks? She's like, I don't think so. And then, <laughs> And then when they did it, and then I was like, you know, I was happy for everybody to go. But when they caught my name, I was like, I'm jumping up like crazy. And I was like, yeah, I was like, come on, get up here. <laughs> Man, this is this is a sight, you know. Yeah. I have one regret. I wish my mom was here to see that because she knew the struggle for me going to meeting to meeting to meeting to meeting. And she'd be like, You signing about that? I'd be like, No, they ain't come. Um, they wouldn't answer my phone call. <laughs> I said, like, they ain't show up. She said, like, don't worry about it. Just, you know, just keep doing it. You, you're a warrior. You're a fighter. You, you'll make it. And I wish she was here to be able to see that because now I'm making more money. And if she was here, I would have been able to do more stuff for her. Hold on. Hold on one yeah. second. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I wish you know, about that now. You know that, right? I know when I was backstage <laughs> and um, as nervous as I was and, you know, I thought about how my father you know, gave me confidence and courage. He's military, you know, Air Force. And I said, I wish dad was here. You know, I really wish my dad was here. And uh, I started looking in the corner of the lights and I said, I'm just going to visualize he's here now and I can feel his presence. And I said, dad, you're, you're watching me. I'm about to call my name. I'm about to go and make you proud. And then I walked out on stage in the room. <laughs> and I know, I know he was just so pumped about that. So your mom and my dad and our, your dad, we were, they were there. They saw yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. They saw it. And they're so proud of you, you know. Your mom's proud of you. And just keep doing you. Keep doing great. Do it for that boy, you know. That's your yeah. why. That's yeah, your burning yeah, desire. Yeah. Thank you God you sleep. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it's it, it, inspiration to other yeah. fathers, you know, other dads that are looking up to you now because yeah. you're giving them hope. It's inspirational, know? man. It's, it's really inspirational. inspirational. It is. Yes. And that's what your story is you know, your story is definitely going to move a lot of people. And yeah. that's what we are a part of. We're part of that movement and that movement of change. That's yeah. what this is about. So thank you so much, Sean, Super Doer Johnson. Yeah, wow, man, awesome pleasure. interview. Pleasure yes. having you, man. God bless you. Can, can I say one thing? Yeah, sure. sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people see my success and they were like, they try to compare themselves to me. And I tell people, you know, don't compare your book one to my book 30. There's no, I've been through a struggle that you haven't went through yet. But if you connect with what we have going on here in the community, Super Philly Network, you can condense that time. I mean, you you truly can. And I tell them, look, I work, I still work a full time job. So I work a full time job. I have a son who has autism. I have a wifey do list that's like that, right? <laughs> Everybody got a wifey do list like mm -hmm. that. And you know, I'm you know what is almost like you can if I can do it, right? You got to learn some. Of course, you got to put some skin in the game. And you got to get some skill sets under your belt and you got to become a student. I mean, that's 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 a gimme. You got to do that. But if I can do it, if I can create full time income on a part time basis, you can, too. It's just I've been here a little longer than you have. And I've been learning and investing more than you have at this point. But you still can get there. You know, the clock never stops. You still can get there. So I just want to say to the person who's working a full time job who um, may be working two jobs and you know, thinking they don't have time or they just don't feel they can do it because they failed in the past, you can do it. Just make a decision today and say, you know what, I'm going to, I'm a winner. I'm going to win. I'm going I'm to take action. I'm going to make it happen. And you can do it. You can do it. Absolutely, man. I mean, I we built this when we were working on the side and um, I changed my mindset and I said, you know, I'm going to, you know, focus on this job and this job is this building that I'm in right now is going to fund my dream. It's going to fund my freedom. And that's the way I looked at it. And, and I just kept doing the same thing, you know, like every day, day in, day out. And I'm still doing it. 
you know, the inner circle calls coming in working doubles because I asked for more hours. I'm like, I want full time. Right. I didn't get the first time around. The second time I got the full time. Right. But when I got the full time, I said, OK, now that I'm in, guys, give me the most hours as possible. I was getting like double hours and I was still coming in exhausted and still doing the inner circle calls from you know back in the day. And uh, but the, the mission was there. I mean, so when you look at having a job, it's I look at it as a blessing. I do. Because I know that that is what's going to fund my business. That's going to fund my dream. And I tell everybody, I said, if I have to go back and do it all over again, if, if shit was, you know, went downhill, you would. I would never quit. I still would fight to the ends of the earth to make sure this works. Because I would go back to work, fund my dreams for my business all over again if I do it. That's just, I'm conditioned that way. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just conditioned that way. So, I, I, man, I, I feel you. And, and, and that is a blessing. It is a blessing. People look at it differently online. They tell you, oh, quit your job, have freedom, you know, live the lifestyle, go travel to Thailand, do all this stuff. And then you go broke, right? And then you go back and you screw it, <laughs> yeah. right? No, the reality is I, I, I want to be the opposite, you know, on the internet and tell everybody, no, keep your job, keep man. Your it's a job. blessing. Yes. You know, use your job to fund your dreams, man. I quote that phrase. I said, that is what you need to do. Yes. There's nothing wrong with your job. That's right. Yeah, I always tell people, I like, I believe in addition, not subtraction. So, why I'm subtracting money when I got add money? I don't, don't want my job. Look, my job is not hectic. My job is not hectic, right? So I'm like, it's not hectic. I love going to work because sometimes going to work feel like I'm going to high school. I'm joking with my coworkers. We having fun, and it's funny, right? When I came back from the event, you know, we holding up the pictures like of the big check, right? Yeah. And I came back from the event, so we like on a group text. So one of my coworkers just got a promotion to get another position. So they text me. They're like, you back? I'm like, yeah, I'm back. They said, are you coming to the lunch? I said, yeah. I said, today is my day to work from home. But sure, I come to the lunch. They said, hurry up, get here, because we saw that big check, and we need you to pay for everybody food. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> it was funny, though. But yeah, it's, like you said, a job is a blessing. And um, if you love your job, keep it. If you don't like it, then you figure out what you need to do to get yourself out, off of it, but still let it fund your business so you can have income coming in to mm-hmm. help you do ads or to help you pay for your order ships. Don't listen to these crazy people out here and say, hey, you made a thousand dollars a week. Now you only made it, you made a thousand dollars this week. <laughs> you have a five thousand dollar a month, but you never did it before, right? Yeah. And then you go quit your job. That's ludicrous. Don't do that because you you gotta do to me, you gotta do it consistently. Now you gotta go out and make five thousand dollars for the next 12 months. If you can do that for the next 12 months, apparently you know what you're doing. You got it written down. You kind of figured it out. Now you got a decision. Now you got a decision to make. But if you like a job like me, I love love my job. Stay on it. But if you hate it, figure out what you need to do to get off of it and then just make that happen. And you know, I, um, you know, I worked at Best Buy and I did Geek Squad and stuff. So for me, I like computers. Like these computers, I got two desktops that I built for my business, right? And I'll tell you, man, I, I, I love what I did. I would help people. I would solve their problems with the computers. So that money that was coming in, I was just running solo ads and I would look at, uh, on the tablet um, yeah. in the front counter where I'm working, not supposed to, but I'm looking, I'm seeing those ones and twos, these those sales pop through and I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, keep doing the same thing every week, week in and week out, week in and week out, just nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. And uh, you know, it just started growing from there, man. But if it, and I can say, if it wasn't for the job, there would be no way that that would have been sustainable in the beginning. Mm-hmm. There's no way because you're, 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 you're counting on just the business, yeah. but that's not, that's not thinking smart. That's not smart business sense, mm-hmm. right? You got to use that business money to fund, you know, your, your capital, but take your mm-hmm. capital from work and combine them both yeah. then start scaling. Right. Cause exactly. that's what I did. Exactly. That's what I did. I mean, you know, I, I didn't have much in the beginning. I was broke. I mean, I was really broke. So I just like part-time, I took a little bit, Every single week, bang, 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 100 clicks, 200 clicks a week. Then when I started seeing a little capital come in from the business, what did I do? I started combining both incomes. So I was scaling a little more, 500, 1,000 clicks a week. And that's when things started to take off, you know, when I started hitting those numbers. And, uh, yeah, man, having a job, it's just like, it's a blessing. It really yeah. is. That's how I look at it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, hang out with us a little longer, okay? Because we want to take some Q&A from uh, the community. How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm cool, still asleep. Cool. I'm awesome. Good. You guys want to do some Q&A? Yeah, we I think it's about to do some Q&A with we'll Sean. We'll hang out yeah, with yeah. Sean today. <laughs> this is his day, so we want to definitely give him that time, all right? <laughs> you guys getting value from the Inner Circle and with our special guest, Sean Superdoer Johnson? Let us know in the chat. Give us a quick yes. 
Hell yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Good. Q&A. Okay. Let me get over here on Facebook. Awesome. So if you have a question for our special guest speaker, please go ahead and type it inside the comment chat box. And thank you for the likes and the hearts and the shares. Thank you so much. Keisha Bass, laugh out loud. <laughs> there she is. KB's in the house. All right. She's like, this is awesome. Yes. Dave Jorgensen says yes. Takia Hansley says heck yeah. B Caldalero says huge value. <laughs> yeah, everybody wants QA. All right, guys. So if you have a question for Sean Johnson, now's your time. Now's your chance to literally ask the man some questions, okay? Yeah, dual screen here. We got Zoom over here and Facebook over here. Yes. So we'll, we'll take turns back so and forth. Miss Keisha Bass is the first. What? Says, Sean, Ooh. how do you find keywords? How do I find keywords? Well, I normally go to um, Google, right? And I just, I, I like to do long tail keywords. And basically all a long tail keyword is, is like probably like two to three keywords. That's about right, Rich? Like two to three yeah. keywords? Yeah. I know Rich, you know, he, he, a, he a tough marketer too. On <laughs> so there are two to three keywords. So I try to figure out what people are searching. Um, and then I type it in. And most of the time, Google will give you like what people are searching. Also on YouTube. So here's the thing. YouTube is owned by Google. So if you're doing video, which you said at the event, it makes it smart because they're going to rank their videos first. They're going to rank their stuff. So if you go to Google and type in, say you want to do, just say Super Philly Network. So type in Super Philly Network and then type A, right? And see what comes up. Because it'll show you what people are searching. It will show you what's coming up. Backspace that out, then type B. So that way you can go down the alphabet and you can see exactly what people are searching. What I do is I look and see who did videos on what, what what's not really um been done yet. So if I can get it out there first and get some traction, I know my video is going to kind of rank real quick and going to stay at the top. And that's really pretty much all I did. I figured out what companies was coming out, what product was hot. Okay, so you said click funnels. Click funnel review. How many people did it up? Oh, nobody did one on that yet. Okay, great. Click funnel review. Why do this before you buy? Or whatever the case. Then I just do a review on click funnels, and then I give a call to action in my video to go down in the description and click on the link to get that fourteen day free trial. Awesome. And then, there you are. Awesome. There you I mean, go. That's, so the answer. that's pretty much. Yeah. Just make sure <laughs> when you're looking up your keywords and you actually do the content, always give a key um, call to action. Don't just say, hey, this is click and review. Okay, have a good night. And guess what? They're going to go to the next video, and then that person going to have a call to action, and then they're going to get the sale, and you didn't get the sale because you didn't tell them to buy. You just oh, said, hey, have a good night. And the other person said, go there in the description, click on the link, so enter your email address so you can get my free ebook, or you can get a 14 day test drive of ClickFunnels. And if you do that, send me your copy of your receipt, and I'm going to give you um, share codes to my best five funnels that generate me leads constantly when I'm asleep or something like that. Who don't want the best five funnels you can create if it's going to generate leads? So they're going to buy it just so they can get the best five funnels. They What's want the that? bonuses. They like those yes. bonuses. Yes. yes. Exactly. I just gave y'all a tip. Y'all need to go. Yeah. Out I know. I just, I, yo, man, I caught that quick. <laughs> how quick i am i caught that quick <laughs> yeah so that's what i do i just i do i just do a word search and um yeah. in youtube and i do a google i, I kind of go back between both of them type in super filler network see yeah. see what you know see what the numbers are look at the videos look how many hits they got um and then i said okay well this you know i look at the person video i say all he got is 100 views and he did this like three weeks ago i said i'm gonna crush this then because he don't know what he's doing. <laughs> okay, so next question coming in. These questions are flying in fast. We have Diane Robin who says, Sean, how much did you invest in solo ads? How often did you put them out when you first started? Oh, man. Believe it or not, I haven't done a lot of solo ads because I came in with a list. So my situation might be different from other people. Yeah. I already came in with a list not that big. It's like probably a 5,000 5, member list. <laughs> yeah. So the list not really big. So I kind of go through it from time to time mm -hmm. to kind of take off the um the people and not really open up my emails. But um, 
But you've been nurturing that list for years. Yeah, so a lot of I had a guy on my list, been on my list for three years, and he finally wow. brought something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't talk to the guy on the phone. He didn't text me and hey right, man, what's going on? What you doing? You how your radio show going? Great, great. And then one day I saw his name come through as a sale. I was like, what the world? Three years later. So he's been following me and I've been consistent. So solo ads, oh man, if if I can count the I probably can count the number of solar ads on two hands that I did since I've been here. Wow. Awesome. wow. I haven't did that many solar ads. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't really did that many. Wow. Well, so, probably about eight since I've been here. Maybe. Maybe ten. Uh, yeah. And you, honestly, you haven't been here that long. No, you've been here for a short period of time. Yeah. So I got in, what, September of last year. And I started doing, I started doing, I think I did my first solar ad maybe in November. And then in January and February, I kind of cranked it up a little bit, did a little bit more, and then I stopped. And I just started hitting my list, emailing my list, uh, connecting with you know Facebook. Some of the people was already on my list for a while. New yeah. people coming on, seeing videos and things of that nature. So solo ad is not my forte at this point. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a different skill set. No doubt about that. <laughs> yep. So Pitt. Todd Hunter asked Sean, "Do you SEO your YouTube videos?" Yeah, that's yeah. So basically, I, I figure out um, a long tail keyword, and then I just go write like a like a miniature blog post about what I'm going to talk about in the video. And I just like when I get my keyword, I also look at the other keywords that kind of relate to that main keyword. And I just sprinkle them in my content. That way I'm hitting other little keywords along the way outside of my main keyword so I can kind of pull off as well, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it absolutely. does. Rich, check the uh, Zoom. There's some questions coming in Let's here. Let's see here. And, that, and that, you know, that's just something I learned over the years. Because, again, I've been doing this for a while. Experience. Like since 2006. Yeah, yeah, about 2006. So over the years, I have learned how to do that and why it worked. Like first coming in, you probably wouldn't really know until you really got into it or brought an SEO course or just followed. And I really didn't buy any courses. I just followed people who was getting results and watched what they did. And I'm like, ha, that's what she's doing. That's what Kate Mache doing. Yeah. Kate, I got you. Kate. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you and you know yeah. what? And what's funny is, you know, uh, we come from the same system um, that, that you're in as well. Yeah. Um, and, you know, do you remember YouTube when it was not owned by Google? Yeah, I remember a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was crazy, wasn't it? And there wasn't mm-hmm. that, as, as many rules and regulations. And you could like use like Traffic Geyser and rank all yep. the I remember Traffic Geyser, yep. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, man. Back in the day, because there were two kids that owned YouTube. Yeah. It was not Google. Yeah. And back in that day, I mean, it was wild and crazy. Everything went. Everything went. There were no serious rules and regulations like there is now. Yeah, it's so, crazy like, now. Yeah. yeah, like now with the SEO and stuff, we got to follow those guidelines and things like that. And Facebook yeah. now, like the way they got it now, I I uploaded the video of us dancing on stage and because it had copyright music, they muted 26 minutes of yeah. the video. Yeah, Literally. I'm like, what are they trying to do? Oh I used to God. have like rankings like uh, back in the day. Yeah. Like, I mean, because Brian Finale taught me all the stuff that he knows and I used to be like everywhere all over the search engines. And then my, my old... Um, video channel got shut down because it had copyrighted material because back in the day when those two kids owned YouTube, there wasn't no rules about music. Mm-hmm. So I was like playing all sorts of music. And because of that reason, you need royalty free music now. <laughs> I got axed, man. I was a partner in everything back in the day. It was yeah. going great. And I had, I had like probably like two, three years ago, I had a company owner of a, a company, um, Try to friend me on Facebook. I really didn't know who the guy was. Asked me to join his company. I'm like, I'm not really interested. Then he said, well, you need to take your YouTube video down. I'm like, what? What you talking about? Then I figure out. I said, oh, he the CEO. This <laughs> so he like, because um, you 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 bringing bad news to my company. I said, no, you mad because I wouldn't join your company. I said, I tell you what. Send me $1,000 and I'll delete the video. Because I was ranked number <laughs> one. I said, I said, don't get mad at me because you're whoever your marketing manager. I can I'll do your marketing manager, and I'm just sitting here in my office at home, not gonna do your marketing manager. And I mean, they hit YouTube up. YouTube said, Sean, your video gotta go. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> they even they even sent me a cease and desist letter from a lawyer, and I like whatever. I like little old me. You the big yeah, yeah. old me. 
they don't care. Is it get, Sean, is, oh it get, is it getting tougher to do more company reviews nowadays? I haven't done any in a while. I'm being, I haven't done any we since. We blogging when we first started. Yeah. Remember four years of blogging? We're, yeah, we had like, oh my we're God. Reviews. We were ranking all over the place and, and we're <laughs> yeah. still ranking on some of those keywords. They're still up there. But the thing ones. about it is like we get like sometimes letters like that, cease and desist and stuff Oh, we've like been that. getting them. Yeah. Yeah. And now uh, we're like, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> that. They mad because you maybe rank, outrank their company on the first page of Google or in YouTube, and they don't understand what we do. They don't understand the concept behind it, the keywords, stuff like that. And you know, it's just it's crazy. And they don't want to listen. If you now, if you're a part of the company, they're okay with it. If you're a part of the company, but if you're not part of the company, that's a sin. Oh, you got to take your video down. Um, you talking bad about my company? I said, did you actually listen to the video? I think you're a legit company, but did you listen to what I said? In the yeah. video? No, they didn't care. They they don't don't I'm trying to help them. your member make more sales for your company. Well, they just think that somebody <laughs> went to Phoenix Online College, that they're certified <laughs> to literally become an SEO expert. So that's why they hired those guys to literally yeah. work in their department for compliance. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, this, <laughs> I'll tell you this story is really valuable. Um, when uh, we were in a company called Jeunesse Global, and it was um, a skincare MLM company uh, back in the day, and me and Anastasia, you know, did it together. We, you know, we got flown out to um, Florida, met the owner, all that kind of stuff. So we told him what we we're gonna do. And we're like, okay, listen, man, we're we're online people, man. We you know we, we don't, don't prospect and do we don't do prospect, we don't do that stuff. They're like, really? We they were the all internet. shocked and surprised, right? <laughs> so we went back home, got the domain name Glo- uh, JeunesseGlobalTeam.com. Woo! Man, we started doing, we had every competitor, guys, pay attention. We had every competitor of every skincare company out there. And we did blog posts on. It was insane. And we started ranking left and right, man. Our volume started going through the roof. We ousted them on Google. We, we were, were like number, number one. one at the top. We had people coming to Cash us like we, were, like, like we were the, <laughs> the owners of the company asking us about the products. <laughs> we were getting people in from different countries. Yeah. Uh, we had a team in Malaysia. This, I mean, we started growing yeah. all over. And we were attracted like big leaders for like Mona B, all this kind of stuff, you know. And one day we got a letter from the company. Now we were in the company because we were on the top. They said, you got to take your uh, website down. And th- that right there, I was like, you know what? I'm done with MLM. I'm going to be focusing yeah. on high ticket affiliate marketing. That was going draw. back to what I know best. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be focusing on that. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, SEO, SEO, it can be a little tricky. It can be a little tricky. It can yeah. be. It's a definite required skill set, especially yep. with blogging and videos. But they are getting lots of value. OMGs flying across the comment page. <laughs> <laughs> Value's like boom. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see here. Lorena Turner King says, "Is there a video showing how to hyperlink your links?" Well, if it ain't how to hyperlink your link, I'll do one for you. I just do. see, and that's another thing. I'm glad she asked for that. See, once you learn something. And the question like that, how she's saying, how can I hyperlink my links? Guess what? Go do a video about it. Share it with her and say, hey, share it with other people who may you know your other people on your team who may not know how to hyperlink their link. That way you don't got to answer a question 50 million times. You just can point them to the video. And guess what? In the video, once you do that, give them a call to action to get on your email list to get more tips and tricks. So now you're building your email list and you're giving value at the same time. And that's how you become the authority by learn, do, and teach. teach. <laughs> so, look, just what hyperlinking your link. It takes probably less than two minutes to do a video. Hey, here's the link. Here's how you hyperlink. Boom, boom. I hope you got value. Hey, by the way, get on my list for more tips and trips. My name is Sean Johnson, a.k.a. Superdoor. I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Woo, really? There's a call to action. Nice call. call to action. Love it. Yes. Rich, check to see if there's any more. See if there's any more. Let's see. Looking over here. A lot of comments. A lot of comments. Boom. Suggesting for raising money to go pro and uh, other levels. Somebody's looking for ideas to go, go pro, pro, but they need to know. Oh, how to- that's, that's, ooh, that's super easy. It's something that you probably know how to do that some, you can like services, right? So like, let's just, I said, use my wife. So let's just say my wife was in it, right? Just, I'm not here. My wife was in the business and she wanted to go pro. Well, guess what? My wife can make a hell of a cheese, um, strawberry cheesecake with an Oreo crust. So I would say, hey, do oh, what man. you know how to do and and get people to pay you for your services. So I would tell her to go out and, and make, you know, every weekend, whatever you're going to charge the cakes, figure out how much you want to make every weekend. That's what you charge. You make them and you sell them, right? So just think about what you can do, right? Whether it's using other people's money or maybe 
you know a leader who need help, you might, might know a leader who need help, guess what? Ask them, can um, you do something for them and they pay you? I mean, it's so many different things. You got to look at... Look outside the box. Yeah, sometimes we we uh, overthink things, right? So think about what you know how to do. Or if you went to school, what did you go to school for that somebody might need your assistance and you could charge them? Yes. Maybe you write uh, awesome... Maybe you do awesome resumes, right? Guess what? Go ahead and get people to pay you to do their resume. Don't overthink it because a lot of times you already got a skill set somewhere outside of the internet marketing affiliate space that you, if you actually did it for somebody, you, you can charge for it, right? So yeah. that's what I would think. Maybe you know how to change oil in cars. Go change some Go change some oil. I mean, don't be, <laughs> don't be too, don't be too, um, what the word I'm looking for? Rifle? Yeah, don't be too powerful. <laughs> Because if you want to go there, you, if you want to go pro, you got to figure, you got to start thinking. And I think Keisha probably did a video, or one of my, I think Lisa, my friend Lisa Torres did a video a while back. I mean, we was on that spitting out ideas, like cut somebody out of hair, go do Uber. You want to go pro, go Uber. Yeah, yeah, I know we used Uber a lot yeah. in Arizona, oh, and I was yeah. like, you make good money, and they were like, yeah, you make yeah, good money. Go Uber. So just, just think about, um, think outside of the box yes. of what you can do. To raise up that capital so you can start funding your dreams. I'm trying to tell y'all because, I mean, you want to go pro because that's where it's at. That's, that's, the, that's the first step. That's the basic, it. baby. That's New right. basic. Very, very good. Awesome value, son. Yes. Let's see what else we got That's here. right. Don't be prideful. Don't swallow that pride. If you want pro bad enough, you got to do what it takes to get it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly, we didn't have a job at the time. We wouldn't be able to go pro. That's, I mean, our taxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was perfect because when we got started in March, what's March? Yep. It's tax season. Yep. <laughs> so when that tax came in, we're like, boom, perfect timing. Let's go pro. I stopped shopping at Victoria's Secret. I said, no more lingerie for me. I said, I'll, I'll take a break. <laughs> I said, I'm going to get me some pro. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> awesome. Garage sales, eBay equals cash. Doug Henk said that there you go garage sales yeah, yeah. that's a great idea Sells, i have sold i yeah. sold my motorcycle to go to my first internet marketing event carbon copy pro back in the day in 2008 you did. i love my motorcycle man now i bought it back last year but it was a sacrifice that i made in the beginning because i wanted to get to that event and really you know take my business very seriously that's kind of extreme a lot of people won't do that but that's just my commitment what i wanted to do yeah so yeah Okay. Well, I think we got time for one more question, Rich. Let's see. One more question. These are good questions, guys. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Appreciate you. I'm like looking over here, looking over there. No questions here, just comments. Lots of comments. Yeah. Okay. Good, good. Uh, uh, Alicia see. says, get yes, get resourceful. People pay for small jobs like crazy. Global reach online, learn online skill, fiber. Uh mm -hmm. think of fic. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Thank you for Coaching newsletters yeah. containing video training. List goes, goes on and on. on. Uber, Uber. Yep. yep. <laughs> awesome. Uh, cat sitting. You can do that. Watch pets. Yeah. Pet sitters. How much did we pay for minute. our pet sitters? Yeah, you know, I had a, it was like $360. Here. No, no. It was three, no not more than that. It was like 390 Or 390 something. Almost around 400 bucks. Yep. And we left for about five days and they washed our dog and they, they walked Chased them, water, fed them, played with them, all that kind of stuff. I got cameras all over this house too and they did a great job. We watched Great them. job. Yeah. So, I mean, you could really think outside the box. That's what I'm saying, man. You could come up with money. Pet sitting. There you, you go. You could come up with money. Quick. And Keisha Bass says, pet walker. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. Yep. And think about it, right? The, the, the thing that you're learning in the boot camp is teaching to be a marketer, not just an affiliate, but a marketer. If you're learning these skill sets, can't you promote yourself locally in your hometown? You can get a lot more reach because you got that skill set. Yeah. You know? okay, we, we have a person on our team. She used the boot camp and the information to uh, build her tax business, Lissandra. Les so oh yeah, I met her. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, we did. As a tax business, oh, so, I mean, she really increased her business just from the information that she learned in the boot camp and in the training. So I mean, I mean, yeah. just you know, be resourceful and, and just think outside the box of what you can do. Um, you know, raking leaves, cutting grass. I mean, washing cars. I mean, so much stuff you can do. I mean, and that, if you're good with graphics, make people's timeline covers. I did it. That's <laughs> yeah. easy. All you need is Canva. This, I love Canva. Love Canva. I don't want to. I don't want to miss this one. Marvin Sites says, "Put the M in M and M's." <laughs> <laughs> Marvin Sites. He's so funny. Awesome. Oh well, you know what? That's our time, guys. Thank you so much. And 
Thank you so much, Sean Johnson. You're awesome. That was great to have you, man. And I was I was awake this time. I was asleep. Oh man, you brought so much golden nuggets. I believe everybody here got. You have totally redeemed yourself. (laughs) That's right. So we'll see you in Vegas. Yes. Yeah, I'll be in Vegas. You know, Vegas. Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, that's right. So if you guys are watching this replay, watch it again and again because there's so much information here. It will help you with your existing business or your new business here at Super Affiliate Network, okay? So make sure you get back to the person who invited you here to the Super Affiliate Network if you got a lot of value out of this and get started. Get yes. started for a dollar. <laughs> and like everyone, thank you. Appreciate you guys, every single one of you. And don't forget to get to the next event. Start thinking about it right now. Don't wait for the last minute. Yes. Start thinking about it right now. Prepare in your mind. The new event is coming in October, okay? Yeah. So with that, with that being said, we love you guys. Appreciate you. Sean, we love you too, man. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And uh, we're going to be, uh, what, this is a wrap, and we'll be back uh, next week. Next week. Yeah. All right. That's right. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great evening. Oh, yeah. Right. Amber Horner, this week. 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Get on those freedom calls and change that mindset. Freedom calls. That's right. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. We'll see you. Bye, guys. All right.